Thank you again for joining us. Um, it's funny, uh, one of my close friends uh, grew up in a town called Milton Keynes. Um, I'm sure you won't know it, but um, it's a, a new town very similar to um, El Quinon. Um, it's actually where the first roundabout um, was invented. And this film helped me tap into his teenage experience. Um, the boredom he mentioned and the long summer days that drew out long before him. So thank you for that. Um, I'd firstly like to ask you, um, can you give some context around the film? Um, how you came to know this city? Um, how did you get in touch with the characters there? Yes. Um, well, I, um, I was living in Spain uh, for two years when, when the housing bubble uh, of 2008 uh, bursted. And so um, I, I could see the, the huge and brutal impact uh, in the life of people around me. And I realized that there were um, some cities uh, like, like Ghost Town. Um, um, and I, I decided to, to, to see it. Uh, and I, um, I'm sorry, my English is not very good. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Um, and so I, I, um, I heard about the story of El Posero, the man who built uh, El Quinion. And I, I wanted to see this city. And when I, I went for the first time, it was in 2013, something like that. And, and the first time I, I went there, I, I met uh, Arturo, the retiree, and Pablo, uh, the worker who is unemployed. And, and I, 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 um, I started to, to, to have the desire to make a film in that moment when I met them. Thank you. Um, I'd also like to touch upon the, um, the anti-immigration sentiment that uh, grows in the film. Um, it's all too sad that it seems to be quite formulaic. It's often these ex-industrial towns or these ghost towns where this um, anti-immigration movement seems to take hold and grow so much. Um, Arturo, the character you mentioned, he, um, he, he, uh, draws more on that anti-immigration sentiment throughout the film. Um, but he's, he's actually quite a nice character. He's quite a lovely man who's searching for a human bond. And I wanted to ask, um, what was your rationale behind, you know, including this character? Uh, what was it about him that, you know, drew, drew you to him and made you want to include him in your film? I'm not sure to have understand well. Sure, um, I just wanted um. to ask about Arturo, the character and uh, why he, you decided to use him in the film, um, why you thought he um, was a key character worthy of being in the film when you know, he is quite flawed in his anti-immigration ideas. Um, the anti-immigration ideas, I don't understand why you speak about it. Um, I just wanted to ask because he sort of uh, draws on it in the film. It's uh, something he um, talks ah, about. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I wanted to ask about that. Uh, yes. Okay. Because the character himself is nice and um, he's likable. Mm -hmm. um, and I, it's quite, I wanted to ask about what uh, drew you to him, why you, um, you wanted to film him. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, if... My uh, Northern English accent, it's hard to understand. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, the, the first time I saw Arturo, I, 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 I liked his sense of humor. Um, and I realized his political opinions uh, later. Um, but I was interested by his ambivalence. Um, and um, he... I, I don't think that he represents um, the people there, but this, this uh, opinion that he had 
uh, is something that he has is something that grew up now. Um, he was he was speaking about it because it was a context of national elections, and so the, the world uh, debate debating with uh, his sister, uh, and they have. Uh, totally op opinions, uh, mm -hmm. totally opposite. Um, and I, I wanted to show um, this, that, that these people um, who is so, uh, uh, who has so different opinions uh, was uh, wanted to be together the they want to to see each other they want to be together and i was um i thought it was um surprising and and positive in a sense that these people wanted to speak together uh even if they didn't have uh, the same uh, um, point of view thank you um I also wanted to ask you about the, uh, the sense of community that's present in the film. Um, do you feel like the film itself is, uh, is looking for the community and that's something that the characters are all yearning for? Or do you think it's um, an escape from the, the boredom in the town? I'd like to ask you about um, the kind of contradiction of this ghost town and this community and which you thought was more present. The idea of community or the idea of nothing and the ghost element of the town mm -hmm. in the film uh, in reality i didn't choose between between these two, two aspects it it uh, it's in a dialogue um, um when i when i'm there i feel like i i'm um I want to be with these people, but I want to to run away. Um, and I, I feel that they had this this uh, duality in them, uh, into them also. And um, um, I I think that the um, the way they used to. Um, the way they employ to escape uh, is their creativity. Um, and for me, it was important in the film to, to be faithful to this creativity, this kind of sweet madness they have. Um, because I think that uh, um, these singularities um, allowed them to to be to 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 stay there thank you um we have a, a question from the audience um we have a, uh, someone in the audience would like to know um we meet a lot of different people throughout the film um and were there any particular favorites any particular people in the film that stood out to you and were any of them particularly enjoyable to film uh, were they easy to film if it was easy to film and um, were any of the characters in the in the film were uh, they okay. easy or were they were they enjoyable to work with uh -huh, uh -huh. yes um, well, um, since the beginning uh, I told them that I wanted to make a film, and so I decided to to work only with people who wanted to make a film, but in the sense to to play to and um, so it was easy in the sense that every everyone wanted to make the film. Um, uh, the other question. Uh... I think you've answered my question perfectly there. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> but I'm afraid that is all we have time for, Julie. Um, so I'd okay. like to take this moment to thank you for your film. And also thank you so much for joining us. 
um, and providing your insights um, into the film as well. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much to inviting me.